good afternoon. Uh, daily, daily practice continues. Um, topic today is about generosity. And I'm going to speak about it in a way you may not have thought of before. So this might just change your life. <laughs> before I jump into the topic and explain more detail, let me choose myself and explain where I am and why this is number, episode number 863. My name is Barry Selby. I am an inspirational speaker, spiritual guide, relationship and love expert, helping women create balance and love life and business. I'm also the author of the best-selling book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, a book about singles and a book for singles and couples about love and relationships. Uh, for men and women, that'll help you have a better relationship, whether you're in one or not. So there. Um, I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine, which is what informs my work with women, and also why I do these talks every day now that I've done for almost three years. Um, actually, my first talk I did was before this, but the first of this sort of branded series started in December, so I'm not there yet. It's almost three years ago, called Messages from the Masculine Inspiring Your Feminine Heart. And today's topic is about generosity. And I'm going to talk about the obvious stuff first, but I'm going to put a spin on it that might just change your perspective and show you where you could improve. That's why I had the question about maybe not as generous as you thought. Because you might not be as generous as you thought. Because I learned this lesson myself. And I'm actually spring, springboarding off something that um, my friend Deborah talked about yesterday at um, the first day of the event. That my, that's why I'm at the hotel and that's why I've got a background like this, not my usual background from my Facebook Live today. But I am staying in my time frame, so I'm grateful for that. So, first of all, the obvious thing about generosity is when you give to somebody else. And you give like your time, you give money, you give property, you give things away. Um, you may be generous by just giving of your support for somebody. When they go through a hard time and you give your support for them, caring about them, that's a nice thing to do. Alternatively, maybe you give to a charitable organization because you believe the work they do. Ideally, you believe what they're doing, otherwise, why would you do it? There's something else I want to talk about which is more succinct and blunt, which is about generosity to yourself. Yes, you may have suspected I was going to go there because you know I've been talking about self support a lot the last few um, months, several, at least over a year even, about self support. My, my, I, I, I do talk about love and relationships, as you know, but if you're watching my broadcast, you know I'm very much about you've got to support yourself first before you go out there and love somebody else. As much as you want to be generous to your partner, how many times have you given more than you were able to give from? Or how, much have you, how, how much more have you given beyond what you could give that was uncomfortable? My question is going to be, actually my invitation is, well, it's a question first, then we'll see the invitation. My question is, how much do you give to yourself? And I've talked about self-support before, but I want to play it from this angle, which is sometimes we feel like we're doing it out of a duty. Like we've got to take care of ourselves because it's a rule and we need to do a certain amount of time. But once that time's up, forget it. Like go to the gym and maybe exercise for an hour and then go home because you commit to an hour and that's it. No more. What if being generous with yourself took the limits off? So instead of going, well, I can only go away for a week vacation, said, you know what, I'm taking care of myself. I'm going to go for 10 days. Now, obviously, if you have a job, you don't want to violate the rules there, but you might want to negotiate because maybe you never asked what you wanted. This is another part of it, by the way. Again, if you have, say, a week's vacation for your job, because in America it's not that very long, because you can say with Europe, but if you want to take more than that, have you ever thought about asking your boss, your employer, your company for more time off? Have you even dared to ask for things that you wanted as in to, be, to have that much generosity given to yourself. It's tempting sometimes to play by the rules because we don't seem to accept a change. And sometimes those rules can be very constricting. Generosity to yourself in my, my book, <laughs> in my languaging, is being willing to change the rules out there to support the ones inside. Actually not the rules, but the freedom inside. So instead of using the rules out there to control your own freedom, you relinquish those, you let them go, you release them, and you play by more um, um, I won't say informal is the wrong word, but more fluid experience, let's put it that way. I just was talking to somebody today at the event who who's got uh, just got my, my self love meditation and she was asking questions about it. And she realized even though even though I said these these guided meditations that, that the AM and PM meditations are five minutes each. Actually, about six, I think, the last time I looked at them. But she said, it's like, she realized she doesn't give herself that much time to take care of herself. That's self-generosity. That's what I'm talking about, where you do give time to yourself. I don't mean being lazy or sleeping, necessarily, but where you commit to give yourself time to do things for yourself that you value, to do things for yourself 
that improve your life to do things for yourself that make it worthwhile. One of the things, excuse me, I was listening to today is about people valuing themselves enough, valuing themselves enough to commit to invest in certain things. For example, women committing to themselves enough to pay to coach with me, to invest in coaching with me. See, I'm looking at it now from a point of view of generosity versus this stretch, this investment, this pain, this challenge. What if you were feeling generous enough to give to yourself the time, the money, the energy to do something you've never done before? What if you chose to take that spin, that opportunity, as an opportunity to be generous with yourself? And it's an interesting question because I'm realizing for myself when I sit with that one, I don't normally see it that way. That's why I'm talking about it here because this is my own exploration as well. I want you to join me on this one. Being generous with yourself is a sense of giving and is also about willing to give more than you've given before. And having the sense of generosity, having the willingness to give to yourself as a gesture of generosity, not from a duty, not from I'm going to take care of myself and it's going to be the right way and it's going to be this rules and everything else. Because generosity doesn't have a structure to it. But generosity is often a free form, free flowing, thank you for the love by the way, I appreciate you doing that. Um, the way of being with each other. Oh, by the way, quick sidebar. This is a Facebook Live in case you're wondering who I'm talking to or who I'm responding to. Because if you're watching this on YouTube, you won't see any of these comments uh, or, or um, thumbs up or any of that stuff. Anyway, so back to topic. So my, my suggestion to you, my encouragement, my, my invitation to you is how can you turn up the juice on your own generosity with yourself? You know, something I talked about in many other broadcasts is about how, frankly, we have a tendency to either be totally selfish and not give to anybody else, and that's not generosity, by the way, or we give, 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 and we get so worn out, we're not actually giving to ourselves at all. Also not healthy. Neither one of them are good. But when you're being generous to yourself, generosity comes from a place of overflow. Generosity comes from a place of say exuberance maybe but having more than enough basically in that way energetically so when you give to yourself or to somebody else you're not giving from a place of lack you're not stretching yourself beyond where it's safe comfortable effective to be and you're not coming from a place where you're giving what you don't have generosity is actually and the one thing about generosity is when you do give to yourself the side effect is you discover how much you already have so generosity is not filling up a gap because you're giving to yourself. This, this is the backwards way of doing it. So I'm, let me just download this piece as it came through. If you're giving to yourself from the overflow, you're giving from generosity. Hey, good see you, Neil. Nice to have you here. Um, thanks for the love. If you're giving to yourself from the overflow, then you must have it already to give yourself more of the same. That makes sense. Which means that when you do give to yourself from your general place of generosity, you discover things about yourself you didn't already know and you discover how much you already have, and you, you, discover, you discover how much value you have in your life. So this actually generosity is actually a discovery process, amongst other things. And it's something that I realize now as I say it, has a distinct, um, flip the script mentality. It's an opportunity to see things from a different lens, a different perspective, a different paradigm where you start to take care of yourself in a better way. And again, as I've been saying for the last six months, eight months or more from my talks, one of the first steps of healthy relationships is to love yourself and to take care of yourself first because we don't do that oftentimes. We fall in love and give everything to the other person and we drain ourselves completely. Most of us. The caring ones do. The ones that don't care just give themselves don't care about anybody else. But the thing I want to say is if you're being generous, it, it reject. well, let me play with the word. So generosity is like regenerating the energy you already have. It's refueling yourself, it's restocking yourself. It's taking care of yourself to the degree you haven't done before. As I said, I'm an adamant proponent of self-care and self-love. So I'm, I'm passionate and adamant about making a priority to take care of yourself. And being generous with yourself is a up leveling the ability to be generous with you, to be sorry to be caring for yourself because again you're not just caring from a minimal level you're being generous which is an, an overflow it's an abundance it's a exuberance even it's so much bigger than what you may have thought so 
I'm going to start a circle, so I'm going to, keep, I'm going to write this up quickly. It's a shorter broadcast because of what we're doing today. Um, th there you go. Thank you, Neil. So thank you, brother. I like this. I like this a lot. Um, you, fi you find you can shine your light to others more when you are loving yourself. Exactly. That's the thing. Most of us, well, maybe it's just me. Maybe nobody else did it. Maybe just me. I give and give and give until I was completely drained. And I wonder why I couldn't give to myself. Using the oxygen mask analogy from planes, there's a distinct got spider web coming down. That's interesting. Okay. <laughs> Let's get spider was my head. That was weird. When you give to yourself from a place of generosity, you find yourself filling up first. And as Neil so perfectly said, you can shine your light more on others when you love yourself first. It really is that simple. But many of us forget to do that. My self-love guided meditation, which I was talking about with my client earlier, which I'll put the link in the comments, you can get it yourself, is a simple, elegant practice, morning and evening, that will transform your relationship with yourself and fill up your own, I call them batteries, for the sake of a better word. They fill you up first, you become much more self-sufficient, so then when you go out into the world, you can give more easily and effectively to other people. It also means that you say no to things that don't support you, because when you're starting to love yourself fully, you raise your own standards of what you're willing to accept. And being generous is part of that key. That makes sense. All right, I'm going to write this up because the first one, I said a spiderweb land on me, which is going to give me distraction. I was going to get back in the room because I more to do. So here's the thing. Your homework assignment, yes, I give homework quite often, is where in your life can, be more, can you be more generous with yourself? I'm not going to deal with anybody else right now. Where can you be more generous with yourself in your life? Maybe it's you're going to go more walk further than you walked before. Maybe it's to eat better food. Maybe you're going to spend more money on food you buy. Maybe it's something else that's going to give you a chance to really look at yourself in the mirror and go, I take care of myself. That's the level of generosity I'm inviting you to look at. I will put some links in the comments to reach out to me. Uh, the self-love meditation I mentioned a couple of times, that'll be in the comments. My book will be in the comments. The 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, a great book. I am biased. I recommend it. Um, I'll also put a link in the comments for the ladies who want some help about love and relationships because that's always my backbone of my work. So there'll be a free complimentary chat you can have with me. Um, those three links will keep you busy. And I do recommend you check them out and maybe even get one, of the, one or two or three of those things. So your homework you've got, links you can reach out to me. This is my daily Facebook Live, as I mentioned. I do this every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time, and so far I have kept it on track even when this event was scheduled was all over the place. So maybe tomorrow I'll do the same thing. We'll see. So I do this every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Your cup runneth over perfectly. I like that. Thank you, Neil. <laughs> so if you haven't seen my broadcast before, I do this every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time, as I mentioned, on my personal page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby. Um, you can join me live. You can find there's a button somewhere around this broadcast that gives you a chance to tap on it and gives you more information. You can click on be notified when I go live next time, so you can be here when I go live. The replays, because I've got 860 plus of them, are on my business page on Facebook. At least some of them are. Some of them don't get that for some reason it doesn't keep my old ones. However, so my business page, by the way, is Barry Selby. Please subscribe. BarrySelby.author, excuse me. Please uh, like my page. However, all of my broadcasts, definitely all of them, live on my, business, my uh, YouTube channel which is youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Barry Selby. Please subscribe and there's a playlist on there called Messages from the Masculine. All my broadcasts from the newest to the oldest live out there. This one will be up this later on. And again, I'll put some links in the comments for you, my book, Self Love Meditation, and uh, chat with me if you want to get some help about love and relationships. So, let your cup runneth over, thank you for that one, by being generous with yourself first. Practice that, learn how to do it better. If you have any questions, reach out to me, I'll help you and take care of yourself. This is all to, I mean, I keep saying it being broadcast. I invite you to take care of yourself better today than you did yesterday. This is one of those tools that will help you with that. So with that, I thank you for watching. We'll be back again tomorrow, same time, probably. Definitely same channel. And uh, as I said before, take care of yourself. I'll see you again tomorrow. See you soon. Bye.